Life brings us times when we feel nothing's working out for us. Situations where we feel stuck and crave a real transformation. In such a scenario, what can be better than getting your hands on some effective tools that hold the power to transform your life? How about getting your problems transformed into courage, creativity, and confidence? Today's book summary is about the amazing book, The Tools, by Phil Stutz and Barry Michaels. The Tools brings about the solution for a few major struggles for most people in life. After watching this video, you will have the power to change your life. So let's get straight into it. Phil Stutz and Barry Michaels are professionals in the field of psychiatry and psychotherapy, with an astonishing 60 years of experience between the two of them. You may also have heard of Phil Stutz and his highly effective tools through the Netflix documentary Stutz by Jonah Hill. The one thing that makes this book stand out from the rest is that it consists of various personal stories, failures, and triumphs in addition to the tools. The writers shared their problems and how these five tools help them overcome those difficulties. They argue that changing your attitude can only get you so far. It's your behavior that will bring about true change to your life. 1. The Reversal of Desire What if every bad thing that's ever happened to you, including every problem you've ever had, was there in your life to get you in touch with abilities you never knew you had? We all have certain moments where we feel resistance to do something, like making that phone call to a colleague to handle a complicated work issue, or going outside into the rain to get to the gym. At these moments, we often make all kinds of excuses so that we can stay in our comfort zone and don't have to face those difficult tasks. Avoiding pain is a powerful habit, which gives you immediate relief when you defer something painful. However, there is a long-term cost. Avoiding emotional pain will limit your potential. Instead of indulging yourself in different things to find an escape from reality, you need to discipline yourself to face the challenges life throws at you, however small they may be. We can only live our fullest life when we dare to face the pain and step outside our comfort zone. So how can you put the reversal of desire into practice? Step 1. Bring all your attention to the uncomfortable situation or task you are avoiding. Imagine that pain or discomfort as a cloud in front of you. You need to feel every bit of that pain. Now scream at the cloud. Bring it on! Because you have the knowledge that this pain holds great value. 2. Move into the cloud and be at one with the pain. Own your pain, explore it, and finally embrace it. Now yell to yourself, I love pain! And 3. Now imagine yourself breaking free from the cloud, getting out on the other side into the realm of endless possibilities. It's only by facing the pain that you can tap into infinite potential. So, what is it that you're avoiding today? Whenever you encounter a painful situation, instead of ignoring it, embrace the pain, scream silently towards it, and move past into the realm of endless possibilities. Start desiring pain. 2. Active Love do you ever catch yourself overthinking things and you just can't seem to get out of that mental loop? Well, then you found yourself stuck in the maze where frustration, anger, or irritation gets the better of us. It can be difficult to break out of this mental loop and get back into more positive thinking. When you find yourself in such a situation where there is seemingly no way out, the active love tool will help you overcome this struggle. Firstly, concentrate. As very well put by Hugh Grant, if you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. If you observe, the world around is full of love. You can carry all that love inside you. But for that, it needs a little expansion. Bring all your attention to your heart and open it to the infinite love around you. Imagine your whole heart being filled with love. Secondly, transmit. Transmitting love is as important as receiving it. Hold a person or situation in mind you're feeling frustration or anger towards. Express your love and affection to this person or situation. Beam all of the love in your heart towards it. And finally, penetrate. Sense the love you are giving away and feel it entering into the other person. Feeling the love go through the other person gives a great level of satisfaction. This will make your mind at ease and dissolve all the negative feelings you experienced before. 
So, in a state of anger or frustration, don't indulge yourself in overthinking and waste your mental energy. Instead, go ahead and concentrate on the love surrounding you. Transmit the love to another person and feel the sensation of sending love to that person. 3. Inner Authority We all have moments where we feel anxious and unsure of ourselves. Maybe you feel like that when you have to do a work presentation in front of all your colleagues, or when you're having a job interview. Wouldn't it be great to find a solution to this, to get rid of these feelings of insecurity? Well, with the next tool, you can. The inner authority tool stimulates us to project our insecurities as a shadow of ourselves, a part of ourselves we're ashamed of and want to hide from the world. Your shadow is everything you don't want to be, but afraid you are represented in a single image. The problem arises when we look outside sources to validate our shadow. We never develop trust in ourselves, and therefore we never express inner authority. Hiding our shadow also costs energy, and that's why it can have a negative influence on our performance. Because we can't use that lost energy for that presentation or job interview. So instead of trying to hide it, we should all embrace our shadows. But how do we do that? Imagine your shadow in detail. What does he or she look like? Now, feel the bond between you and your shadow. After all, it's a part of you. Imagine you are holding your shadow's hand and together facing the crowd. You're no longer ashamed of your shadow or trying to hide it. You acknowledge, accept, and embrace your shadow self. This allows you to feel more genuine and free, and it will take away your feelings of anxiety and insecurity. It will allow you to connect with the crowd. 4. The Grateful Flow When you're feeling down, surrounded by black clouds of depression, you need to get up and make a connection with a higher force, the so-called source. This can be done by letting gratitude flow. It's a scientifically proven fact that gratitude makes us happier and boosts our mood. By using the Grateful Flow tool, you will be able to flip the switch and turn on a sense of gratitude on demand. Think of a few things that you typically take for granted and pull out some positive thoughts and phrases towards it. How about the fact that you have a family or partner who cares for you? Or the simple fact that you have a roof over your head and a nice comfy bed to sleep in every night? Or that you have accessibility to healthy food and health care? These are a few things that we can easily take for granted. But by actively naming them and sending gratitude towards them, we remind ourselves of all the blessings and positive things in our lives. So whenever you feel surrounded by darkness and there doesn't seem to be any ray of light, get up and connect to the source. When we repeat these phrases of gratitude to ourselves every day, especially when negative thoughts start flowing in, we start to feel a little bit more positive and happier each day. So express gratitude and let go of the negative things. You will feel the energy coming directly from your heart, and that's when you know you connected to the source. 5. Jeopardy The final struggle that most of us regularly face is a lack of motivation or willpower. We keep postponing that call to the insurance company to sort some things out because we really don't feel like doing it. Or we just can't seem to get ourselves started on that important school paper. Instead, we go ahead and turn on another episode of that catchy Netflix show. In these moments, we are desperately in need of the Jeopardy tool. You can use this tool as follows. Whenever you feel like indulging in a guilty pleasure to escape the more important tasks that lay in front of you, you need to envision yourself lying on your deathbed. And while envisioning this, yell to yourself, don't waste the present moment. We often need a little push or a deadline to get certain tasks done. Well, while seeing yourself lying on your deathbed, you are made aware of the ultimate deadline. This will surely give you the willpower to refocus on your goals. This tool is the most important tool of all, because with the Jeopardy tool, you can build the willpower to keep using the other tools so that your life stays on track and you keep developing yourself. You need to look for a long-lasting or permanent source of Jeopardy. This will enable you to understand that time waits for no one. Your future is in your hands, and therefore you need to work to make the most of it. That's it, guys. These are the five powerful tools that can solve our most common struggles in life. Let me know in the comments which one of the tools you will put to use first. If you like this video, 
don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you won't miss out on any videos. See you in the next one.